Hey there, hi there, ho there. Mr. Billick here, and I'm going to do a full review of everything we've covered in the rates and ratios unit. There's a lot that I'm going to cover in the next few minutes, so I'm going to go fast and I'm going to go over a lot of detail. If you have an upcoming test on rates or ratios or unit rates or portions, that's you guys. Make sure that you pay close attention and you're following along. If there's something that you cannot do, then look up a different video or come see me to figure out to make sure you know how to do it for the test. So let's get started. Let's start with the basic principle. That would be ratios. Well, what is a ratio? We learned before that a ratio, and excuse me, I do have my notes because I want to make sure you get it in detail, compares two values. So we have two uh, values here. A ratio compares their relationship. So let's say you have three to two, three to two, these are just two ways to write it. You can also do three, two, two. These are my three ways to write ratios. I'm comparing three to two. I'm not saying what I have. I could say three apples to two oranges, three boys to two girls, but this is a ratio. We're comparing two values. A little bit different would be a rate. Now, a rate, you're also comparing two values. But in a rate, you're comparing two values with different units. For example, if you're comparing, let's say a good example of a rate is miles per hour. Because we're comparing miles and we're comparing hours. Very different units that we're putting together to make some sense of things. So, Let's look at, uh, oh, excuse me, and then we have a, a, a unit rate. Now, a unit rate is comparing these different units, but uh, it's giving it a denominator of one. So, we're comparing it, so unit rate is going to look like this. Unit rate, the best way I can remember it is per unit or a denominator of one. So, miles per hour, if you look at miles per hour, this hour right here, that's one hour. How many miles you travel in one hour? So that's a unit rate. But if I look at, say, 60 miles in three hours, and I ask you to find the unit rate, well, you're asking me to find the miles per one hour. So I have 60 over three, this being miles, this being hours, and I wanna put this over one. So how do I get this guy over one? Divide this by three, divide this by three. If you're traveling 60 miles in three hours, then your unit rate, or your miles per hour, is going to be 20. 20 over one, or you can answer it with, my unit rate is 20 miles per hour. That's how far I'm traveling in one hour. Unit rate, it's always best to remember per unit, the unit of one. And if I ask you to find the unit rate, I want you to put the entire unit. Please don't just write 20. I want you to write 20 miles per hour. I want you to put that per unit. It's super important. Don't even put 20 miles. Please put 20 miles per whatever that unit might be. Hours in this case, or whatever it is. So that's rate, ratio, and unit rate. Remember, ratio compares the two quantities. Rate uh, is different units, and then unit rate is a unit rate of one. Now, a ratio table is where we take multiple ratios, and a ratio table is a way for us to organize our different, uh, our, our, organize the relationship between different ratios. So let's give an example. We have this ratio table, and I'm going to say, uh, let's add this row, 10 to 2, 5 to 1, and 15 to 3. Get rid of this guy. This ratio table is comparing 
different ratios and helping us organize that. Now, we know that this is our x and this is our y. Here's a ratio here, here's a ratio here, and here's a ratio here. And this helps us organize. Now, these ratios, 10 to 2, 5 to 1, 15 to 3, all happen to have the same unit rate. And they have this same relationship. And that relationship breaks down to 5 to 1. 10 to 2, if you write it as a ratio, simplifies down to 5 to 1. This is already simplified. And 15 to 3 does the same thing. If they have this same relationship, there's the same relationship between two ratios, we call that equivalent ratios. You can see that these, that uh, a, uh, if certain numbers of ratios have same unit rate, they simplify the same together, they are equivalent ratios. And you can organize a ratio table and you can quickly find out whether or not these relationships are equal. So if I had 20 to 3 here, you could say that, well, 10 to 2 and 5 to 1 are equal ratios, but 20 to 3, when I simplify 20 to 3, it is not an equivalent ratio. So we find an equivalent ratio by making sure that they simplify down to the same thing and ratio tables help us organize that relationship.